What's good, you guys? Zach out of here, and today we're talking. We're talking about Instagram edits. <laughs> Instagram edits. People always tend to film sideways because that's just normal, typical way you film. Like how I'm filming this video, it is in a landscape format. When you're filming Instagram edits, I always hold the phone vertical because you're gonna crop off the left and the right side when you're holding it sideways. So it kind of allows you to frame up the shot when you're filming it and you're not gonna miss the skater's trick or have the skater go out of the frame. Obviously the only exception to this is if you're filming for YouTube like I am or something like that, then you will wanna film in landscape and just have to, you can edit it out later or zoom in later and we can get into that. But basically, if you're just staying for sticking for Instagram, just stick to vertical. Something else that I recommend doing when you're filming with your iPhone is just get tons of different angles. Since it's not too serious, you're just filming with your iPhone for Instagram. Try to move around a lot because later when you're editing your video for Instagram, you'll have a lot more footage to work with. It's not all in one direction facing one thing. So mix up your angles, move around as you're doing or as your buddy is trying to land the trick. If he's like Al over here and lands tricks constantly, just make him keep skating. guy dead you got any tips for filming instagram edits yeah what do you got just always keep it on the skater it's hard it's easy to miss a clip when you guys are having fun you know so always just be attentive you film it but have fun number one rule have fun Airdrop is also super crucial when you're with homies, everyone's filming, y'all want to get clips from everybody's different phone, it's way faster than texting, you don't lose any quality, and it's just much easier in general. So definitely use Airdrop when you're with friends and everybody else is definitely filming clips, and you want to get them all so you can make your edit. Quick intermission, how to throw a board. How do you throw a board? How do you throw a board when you're doing a backside air? Over the top of the head. Backside air. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> you can edit your video completely free using iMovie, but what you can't probably do is what this guy is about to do right here. What? Yeah. 
I don't get every day to skate, so when I can, it's fucking go time. Before we get into any of the editing, just want to say that was pretty sketchy. That guy did not tuck himself when he was doing a flip. He was like fully extended. Thought his head was going to get catapulted by the Kobe for a second. Super sketchy. What I do sometimes is use this app called Chromatic, and that's basically for color grading or adding any vignetting or even like a dirt effect or any kind of effects. You don't have to do this, it's just something that I do sometimes. Especially if you're filming at night in low light or any different kind of weird situations. Sometimes you can use this app and use a filter and it can make it look really cool. So let's jump into iMovie and basically start adding all your clips that you have. You got air dropped, got that nice full quality, just start dropping them in. Now what I like to do once I have all the clips in there is kind of just scan through and you see the makes that you like. And since we're just making this for Instagram, a lot of times I'll make the cuts fairly close. You really don't need any fancy editing apps for editing Instagram videos. At least I never use any fancy editing apps for editing Instagram videos. You just use iMovie, it's super simple, has everything you need right here. Something else I like to do just to kind of enhance the story and make the edit fun and interesting for Instagram so people want to rewatch it. You know, for transitions, you, you can zoom into clips using this little zoom, pitch to zoom icon. Now if you tap on this clip, you'll see some options down here. That's when you also see this little zoom feature up here. So if you click on that, you can pinch the zoom, you can get them in frame. That really helps to just enhance the story. And like I said earlier, we're filming tons of different angles. So that's a good way to just sort of create transitions in between other clips is just zoom in or even zoom out. Now, one thing that a lot of people have problems with is music rights on Instagram. That's always an issue. Music rights or videos are always kind of tough. But one thing that you could definitely do, and not saying that this will get you around every song, but it definitely helps you get around some songs. And especially if it's live or there's other ambience noise going on, is you use the voiceover option in iMovie. And what you do is basically you go to the plus feature over here, which is adding all the options that you have to add. And what you're gonna do is go to voiceover. And once you plus record, it's gonna start recording right where you are on the timeline. Say you have somebody else's phone nearby or something like that, you can use that too. They can play a song and you can press record. Or somebody's nearby playing the guitar. If you know a homie that's really good at the violin, rip at it. Let's try it real quick. What I'm gonna do is press record before I actually start playing the song because I want the beginning of the song. All right, now I'm gonna start. Then you just wanna press accept. Then I'll add it immediately to your timeline. If you wanna turn the volume down on what you recorded, you can always tap on it. Tap the little speaker icon and turn it down. Another good option for audio or music or background noise or anything like that is just recording something on your phone in regular video mode. Whether you're at a concert or you're just out and about, maybe someone's jamming on the guitar, you could just record it. And then in iMovie later, you can just add that video clip and go to detach, remove the actual video section and just take the audio piece if you want to do that. And then I pretty much always export the highest possible option, even though Instagram is going to compress it later, you might as well try to just use the best option that you have. And that's pretty much it for your edit. Now all you have to think of is a clever caption. I'm not good at that, so I can't help you there. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks to Ian and Al for ripping today. I'll leave their Instagram handles down below. Go give them a follow. If you're not already subscribed, I make tons of other skate videos, photography, videography, DIY, all sorts of fun stuff. All right guys, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. See you in the next one, mash.